Making Decisions, People, Agencies and Priorities. Values of Assessment Study, University of Bristol. There's a huge tension between the amount of money available, the types of services available and the way they're provided. The reality, unfortunately, is really dependent on the training and knowledge of the practitioners and the resources of the local authority. Cuts by central government to local authorities have meant spending on adult social care was reduced in real terms by 8% between 2010 and 2013. Oh. Being clear about who you are and what you are doing. In some interviews with practitioners we found that they were going out to see the individual the day after they received the referral because that's the way they reached their quotas and reached their targets but actually the Care Act says that they're supposed to provide people with the information about what the assessment will, will involve before they do the assessment so that's quite contradictory. When the assessor came I didn't actually realise that it was actually assessment I thought she just came to really talk to me, though I was filling the form in, I didn't actually realise and it was only when um, another organisation brought it to my attention that I'd actually been through an assessment, I thought, oh. I had an assessment, she came and she was sitting here looking around, looking around. I don't know what she was doing but she was just chatting to me and everything, doing the form. Okay. Yeah, then she turned and said, oh, can I use your toilet, please? And I said, yes. But anyway, she went around there, come back. I said, oh, it's a nice place you have Barrington and it's looking so clean. I can't remember if it, she came back or over the telephone, but she said to me, oh, we can't give you this, we can't give you that, we can't give you this, we can't give you... It's like she was going through some tick boxes. Why? 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 And whiskey? Oh, well, I came and your house was looking so clean, so you don't need a cleaner. That was one. I thought, I beg your pardon? Do you know who clean it for me? She said no. I said okay. You should have asked that question then. And you can you, you can cycle, so you can go shopping on your own. And then I realized she went towards the toilet, another peek in the kitchen. Saw the bike. Thought the bike was a solar bike, but she didn't realize it was a tandem bike. So she assumed that I had enough vision to see to cycle on my own. She said I wasn't entitled to a PA for cleaning, taking my shopping, uh, doing my laundry, those necessities that you have to do almost every week. Every decision can have a big impact on people's lives and their well-being. I had a, a really ancient stair lift and when it broke it was an absolute disaster and nobody actually came out to assess me or the situation. I hadn't seen anybody in a number of years. So social services again were looking at a pretty ancient care plan and it filtered back to me that they could um, get a health visitor to show my PA how to bed bath me and the bed bath, if it's medically necessary, that's one thing. But there's a huge difference to me having help in the shower with, you know, feet and back, but the privacy of being able to um, do some of it myself. So I, I was absolutely distraught. And um, my GP wrote a letter of support saying exactly that, if my medical condition merited a bed bath, um, but a failure of equipment was a different matter. And I went through a long, long time of a lot of problems and getting more and more depressed. And it takes a long time to actually recover from 
some of these things that are fairly straightforward to other people. Thank you to everyone who took part in the peer support groups at Wessel and their supporters Anna Wheeler and Valentina Cavallini. A special thanks to Nathan Hill for the graphic design. The research team at Nora Fry Centre for Disability Studies, University of Bristol. Our advisory group members from Bristol Disability Equality Forum, Compass Disability, Families Leading Planning, the Foundation for People with Learning Disabilities, the Alzheimer's Society and the School for Policy Studies. A special thank you to the social care practitioners who took part in this study, to all the disabled people who were assessed and to our workshop participants. Finally, we're very grateful to our funders, the School for Social Care Research, for their generous support of this study. However, the views expressed in these videos are those of the research team and the Wessel Group and not necessarily those of the NIHR, SSCR, NHS, the National Institute for Health Research or the Department of Health. For further information about the research, please see www.sscr.nihr.ac.uk slash publications.php or www.bristol.ac.uk forward slash sps slash research slash centres slash Nora Fry Research. Thank you.